Hey, have you heard about the Brazilian teenager who's been making waves lately? Yeah, Endrick. He's been getting all the buzz after those matches against England and Spain. Can you believe it? This little dynamo comes off the bench in both games, making a huge impact. Scored the winning goal against England and another crucial one against Spain. Now everyone's like, Endrick, whoa. But hey, I bet there are still some things you don't know about him. Check out this video where we tell much more about him and stay here until the end to find out why this guy could be the next Pele. Endrick came into this world on the 21st of July 2006, but it took him four years to fall in love with growing up in Brasilia. Those days his dad, an amateur footballer, would take his son out to the field encouraging him to learn from him while he played. But as Endrick grew up, he began to realise the harsh reality of life. He came from nothing, much like another Brazilian legend, Pelé, who was shining shoes and selling roasted peanuts outside movie theatres at the age of six. One of the incidents that Endrick and his dad would never forget is when Endrick came to his dad asking for food and Douglas Souza didn't have any to give him. On that day, his father cried. To his dad's surprise, he heard his son consoling him and making a promise to his dad that one day he would become a successful footballer and solve the family's financial issues. He made this one of his seven goals, which we'll get into in the later section of the video. As Endrick grew up, his passion for football was increasing. He wrote it himself, a ball of tape, a sock, a basketball. It didn't matter if it was round or even square. I wanted to kick it. When I was given the Brazuca World Cup ball from dad's team at the Vazea, I used to stare at the colours, just like it was a painting. I used to sleep with it. Reminds you of anyone? Maybe another Brazilian legend who liked to just play and it didn't matter if it was a football, a round stone. Pele also honed his dribbling technique and ball control with mangoes as his family couldn't afford a football. Anyway, back to Endrick. With his growing love for football, his dad made a big decision. The decision he took was to publish Endrick's skills video on YouTube. After doing that, he made some physical effort to search for interested football clubs for his son. Fortunately, there was a lot of interest in Endrick's YouTube video, especially from football scouts of big clubs. At first, Sao Paulo FC accepted Douglas Souza's son. So, in a way, we have to thank YouTube for helping us discover a gem like Endrick. But again, it wasn't so easy for him. Upon acceptance, Sao Paulo FC advised Endrick Felipe's family to move to the region where their football academy is located. Owing to the idea of starting life from scratch in another city, Douglas Souza expected the club to settle the bulk of the family expenses. Unfortunately, Sao Paulo didn't meet the expectations of Enrique Felipe's dad. The club could only offer him financial aid of 150 Brazilian real per month, which is roughly $30 a month. Feeding his family with $30 a month, including paying bills, was far from being enough for Douglas. All he wanted was for the club to offer him a job or at least pay for his housing in Sao Paulo, but the club said no to both. Faced with the club's refusal, Endrick's father prepared more videos of his son and then uploaded those on YouTube as well. Before Palmeiras finally accepted the footballer, Corinthians were first in the picture. Corinthians reviewed the needs of Endrick Felipe's dad and rejected them. As it was revealed, Corinthians didn't want to pay the rent for the family and the club didn't agree to offer Douglas Souza a job. But Palmeiras agrees to his demands and offered Enric's dad a janitor's job at the club which helped his dad stay close to his son in his developing years. After joining Palmeiras at age 11, he just started dominating the field with players five years older than him. He rose through the ranks quickly and in the next five years, he would score 165 goals in 169 games for the Palmeiras youth teams. Just let that one sink in. At the age of 16 years, 2 months and 16 days, he became the youngest player to appear for the Palmeiras first team. He was unstoppable and it attracted a lot of attention from around the globe. In November 2022, Chelsea, under the new leadership of Todd Bowley, invited the then 16-year-old Brazilian to visit Cobham and Stamford Bridge and meet some of the players in an attempt to convince him that his first landing place in Europe should be West London. Talking about the incident, Endrick himself admitted, I was very close, my parents really liked London and everyone speaks very highly of it. But after nearly agreeing on everything, Chelsea called Endrick's manager and said that the Chelsea owner had backed out of the deal because the price they would have to pay for Endrick would inflate the market. It was 60 million euros for a 16-year-old boy. Chelsea talking about inflating prices is a bit of a joke. 
Just a month later, Los Blancos came knocking on their door and agreed to 60 million euros. But then some of you might ask, why didn't they bring him into the Madrid squad already after signing him in 2022? Well, according to FIFA, a player cannot leave their country to play elsewhere until they're of legal age, so that was the reason why Madrid loaned him back to Palmeiras after buying him in 2022. This actually fitted with what Endrick and his family wanted, as they wanted to help Palmeiras succeed, as they were the first club to believe in Endrick. In that move to Madrid, another Madrid player played a big role as well. Vinicius Jr. transformed into Agent Vinicius to bring his fellow Brazilian to the club. Speaking about his decision to join Los Blancos over the likes of PSG and Barcelona, the youngster revealed the huge role current Blanco superstar Vinicius played in the decision. He told Marca, Vinicius is a friend of mine. I was able to spend the holidays with him. I was able to see him and talk to him. He told me a lot of things about Real Madrid. He told me I'm going to be fine. It's a very good message knowing that it's the word of a player who is there and also Brazilian. Also, a move to Real Madrid is what Endrid wanted from the start. He revealed this in an emotional letter to his brother. When I was seven or eight years old, I didn't have a phone or anything, so I used to borrow mum's computer and watch highlights of Real Madrid. I was obsessed with that 2013-14 team with Cristiano and Modric and Benzema. That was my gateway into the history of the club. I started going on YouTube and learning about the Galacticos and then deeper and deeper. Puskas, Di Stefano. In the same letter, Endrick listed his life goals and honestly, it is inspirational how a kid as young as 17 had such focus and determination. His first life goal was to help his family have a better life, second to make his dad proud and make his life easier. The third is join Real Madrid. Well, he's already done it. The fourth one is to meet Cristiano Ronaldo. Goal number five is that the rest of this season with Palmeiras ends in harmony with us winning the Paulista. And goal number six is to put on jersey number nine for Madrid. And as for goal number seven, he wants to own a house in Madrid with an office where he can put up a big whiteboard so he can write all his goals on it. This guy just loves goals on and off the pitch. The last goal he mentioned in this letter is a big one. I actually had another goal, but I'm not going to number it because it has already been achieved. That goal is that you live the life that you want, whatever that is. Top footballer and top brother too. That's all for this video, guys. When was the last time there was so much hype about a Brazilian teenager? Let us know in the comments and like the video if you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.